The food isn't great. The accommodations, not homey. In fact, there's not much about being a Marine that's luxurious. Until you get over here and realize you know, how good you have it back at home. But these guys improvise. Oh yeah, I look at the pictures all the time. Lance Corporal Austin Smith got married last December. It's my wife, Melissa. He looks forward to mail when it comes and phone calls that he gets more often. It means a lot to her, so it means a lot to me. So. Being in Afghanistan, Sergeant Dan Clift will miss his daughter's first birthday. And I think I'm going to be missing her first steps. It should be fairly soon, so. It's the price they pay, and for Clift, it's a fair one. They're all safe for, you know, some of the stuff that I do. Most say they try to leave thoughts of home inside the wire. My mind being someplace else is going to cause uh, a catastrophic failure during the course of the action. But that's not to say Sergeant Deacon Holden isn't missing home. I mean, he thinks of his wife often. It's never in a, oh my God, this could be it kind of way. It's always in a, she's not going to believe what happened today, you know, and I hope, I hope her haircut went well. Some, though, bring reminders along with them. Smith keeps a picture of his wife on the inside of his helmet. What's going on, baby? <laughs> Lance Corporal Eric McKinney is from a small town in western North Carolina. Little town like that, and here I am in something so big. So He says his friends inspired him to join the service. I want to make sure that I you know, do everything that I can, do the right things to make sure that everything works out for this. They gave him something before he left that he always keeps in his pocket. It's a ring he says his buddies brought with them to war zones. Now it's his turn. So I'm the 13th person to have it. <laughs> Haven't left without it, so hopefully it'll give me just as much good luck as everybody else. So. It's as much about the nostalgia as it is the luck, really. I brought with me some pictures from home, my journal, and this little medallion that was my Nana's. It's St. Christopher. The guys tell me that it's this little stuff, these little mementos that really get them through those tough times. And by the way, Happy birthday, Mom. In Marja, Afghanistan, Chris Brown, Eyewitness News 9, on your side.